Hi guys, so I'm starting this week's vlog in the evening. Um, the end of the last one was literally like two minutes, well no, like three hours ago. Um, but yeah, Johnny's gone out for a drink with his friends and then, well, friend. And then, why am I so blue? I swear, it's this room. Okay, it's probably better. Yeah, so Johnny's out for a few hours with his friend and then um, I'm going to just... I've literally just finished work. I think it's about six o'clock. What is the time? It is half past five on a Friday night. So I have so much cleaning to do. I filmed a few videos today and have been editing all day, um, which leaves the house looking like this everywhere. So I need, and this. <laughs> so I need to um, clean up. So that's my plan right now. I'm gonna clean the house and then probably have a little drink, watch some Netflix. I actually haven't been in the house on my own for ages and I, I'm like, I'm, I'm happy that Johnny's out tonight. Like I, I'm excited to have my own space, I'm peace and quiet and just, yeah, it's gonna be nice. So everywhere is an absolute shit show. Like literally my office, my dressing room, oops, my office, the dressing room, the kitchen, um, I have laundry to do. So it's kind of like a working, house night so anyway let's crack on also we have these new very cute pjs from h&m um i will link them down below they're very very nice okay i'm procrastinating i'm gonna put some are you squint i'm going to put some music on and clean do a wardrobe tour soon I promise I've just changed something a little bit comfier um but I hated all these little can you see these holes here and one of you guys actually loads of you guys told me about these things that Ikea do hold on I'm gonna take you in so just like these little white things you can stick in and from a distance it just makes it is it gonna focus yeah from a distance it obviously just makes it look a lot less obvious with the holes so I ordered some the other day, well actually ages ago from Ikea, and it just looked like this. Can't even see that. Just little... Okay, it's not focusing. Anyway, it's a stick in, and I ordered about 200 I think. But I don't think that's going to be enough, and I still have a bookcase upstairs to do. Also, this takes forever to do, so I'm going to just try and do at least this bit, and then I'll move downstairs <laughs> to the kitchen and start cleaning that. I did this whole section here and I did that section but I've given up I'm gonna need to buy so many more I already have gone through half of one packet doing that and I only have one more packet left um but it makes such a difference doesn't it like look at this and then look at that one so much better so that will be a job for a rainy day I feel like I can see myself doing like five minutes of that each day until it's done so Maybe in like a month we'll be there. <laughs> now I'm going to tackle the lounge area, which is scary bad. Okay, so this is what we have here. One of these boxes, clothes. The kitchen is just full of mess. So I'm gonna clean up this and then reward myself with a wine and by lighting my new candle.
Okay, so the kitchen is actually looking relatively, is it gonna focus? More clean. Um, just need to tidy up a few bits over here and then I have to go do the lounge. But this is what I've been so excited for. I picked up one of the big Dermalone candles to sit here. Um, I had a, the lit, like the middle version, so the one that's a bit smaller than this one before, but it ran out, so I thought it'd be a nice one to get out of the kitchen um, ready for autumn, well, ready for winter now. So I'm gonna open this and light it. So I got pomegranate noir. I usually would have lime and basil, I think it is. Um, but I thought this was nice, especially for autumn. It's definitely like an autumn warming kind of scent. So it looks very pretty. Another thing to show you, we're still on the hunt for a sofa for over there. And then that one is going down to Johnny's office. Um, I found one that I really, really liked online. I found a few actually. Um, but this one we both really, really liked. It's from a company called this. Donelli Italia. Um, however, they didn't have that many options of things that weren't velvet. So I ordered like seven samples, I think. We've narrowed them down to these three. This one is obviously like woven, which is what Johnny wants like the material to be. But this is so like yellowy cream that I just, I don't like it at all. And then we have these two velvet ones. I really like this one. This one looks really white in some lights, but then in other lights, it looks like a really nice kind of just nudie beige. However, Johnny is not keen on velvet. So the way we left it was <laughs> him saying, leave them out and let me see them later on. So yeah, this is it. I don't know, I think velvet is probably not a good idea for the dogs, dog even, and when we get a puppy. But I'm trying to be like really strict with him now and not let him on the sofa unless he's invited up. And then, I mean, I know that's not gonna work very well, but we can try so anyway i'm nattering but i really really like this velvet i think it's a really nice like classy velvet like not crushed or anything um and i like this one too but it might be a bit too light so just gotta wait and see if johnny is happy with velvet otherwise we are back to square one my makeup always comes off this area anyway um if you watched my last vlog i was saying how i didn't really drink that week um i discovered non oh my god it actually look a mess discovered non-alcoholic -alco spirits. I mean, I didn't discover them just last week, but I started trying them. Well, one, two. And then also before I had poured one of them, I just was like all for alcohol. And I was like, I just, I kept working till like six o'clock at night. And then I was like, meh, it's a bit late now. Like I won't have one. And then I just ended up like stopping drinking, which is crazy for me. I mean, not that I drink to get drunk all the time. I just have like a glass of wine at night. Um, and then I just go with alcoholic spirits and I really like them too. Anyway, it's now Friday night. It is 6.48 in the evening and I'm gonna take my hair down. Also, I changed again. <laughs> um, it's 6.48 in the evening and I still haven't poured myself a drink and I'm like, what, who am I? Honestly, like I think I'm growing up. Um, also, I've changed three times since I started this vlog. So I think I started it at like, what did I say? Maybe it was like half five. Um, and do you ever have that period where it, you put on like an outfit, even like loungewear, and I just get annoyed with it, and I'm like, I hate this outfit, and then I put on another one, and I'm like, I hate this outfit, and I have to feel like good in my loungewear. So currently, I've got a cute little jumpsuit on from Pretty Lavish. Next job, did I show you these chairs? Oh my god, I don't think I showed you the chairs. Did I? We got our dining table, dining chairs. Our table comes in a few weeks. Um, these are from Cult Furniture. They literally arrived within one day. If I've already told you this, I'm sorry. Um, I ordered them. Tuesday morning and they arrived Wednesday morning, all eight of them, which is crazy good. These are not the ones I wanted initially, but I'm actually really happy with them. So yeah, um, this obviously is not meant to be there. But anyway, the point is these chairs already, I mean, we've literally laid them out once and then to stack them up like this and like, look at this mark on the floor and like, we can't get it off. So I've got these things to stick onto the bottom of them. So I'm not gonna do them all you on my makeshift tripod. Yeah, I'm not gonna do them all. I'm just gonna do the ones that are like facing up. Okay, so lounge is as clean as it's going to get, honestly. I'm not doing anything else. Um, pick this doggy toy up. So these are my side tables for my office. Um, Leela, up you come, honey. And I ordered the wrong color. Immediately tried to get in contact with the company. 
and their phone went straight to voicemail the whole day that I tried to call. Then I emailed obviously and was asking them what to do there and it's just an automatic response saying it's three to five days till we get back to you. They finally got back to me um, and they were like, sorry, yeah, like we can't do anything about that basically. So then I replied and said, okay, that's totally fine. Like, I've ordered some new ones. Can we arrange a collection? Um, and there's still no reply. And that was yesterday. Honestly, the company's called Perch and Paro. Really, really nice stuff. But absolutely, I mean, I've made that seem like really basic. Like, I, it's, it's just the customer service is appalling. No follow-up call. Um, oh, I can go on a rant. It's just, it really, really pissed me off, to be honest. So now I've got these two boxes. I mean, it's, I know it's my fault that I ordered the wrong colour, but when you can't get in contact with the company. Like, I, I literally could not get a hold of them the whole day. Well, since it happened. So I think I ordered them on Tuesday, Tuesday night. So since then, I've been constantly on the phone, constantly trying to get a hold of email. And I've had one email back in that time. And then I replied to that email. And then I was saying it's three to five days so they will get back in contact with me about that query. So, yeah, I'm, I'm never ordering from that company again. Like, actually appalling customer service. But anyway, hopefully they will arrange a collection for these boxes because I'm not even going to bother unpacking them because I know they're the wrong thing. So hopefully they'll be gone next week. Um, all of that is Johnny's. And yeah, now it's looking nice and clean. So I realise that I, every single vlog I keep forgetting to show you what's downstairs from the kitchen. Um, and people always ask me, so is it even tidy? Yeah. So this is Johnny's office through here. So you come down here, there's these like weird wooden things and this originally was meant to be a media room so like a cinema room but we used the lounge and we're not going to use another room it's just a waste of space so johnny's got this whole area as his office a little bit messy at the minute but this is what it looks like it's such a vibe when he's got like all of his lights and stuff on um yeah i can give you like a proper walk through another day when it is done obviously like it's still got to get something there still got to get a sofa for down here um, but yeah, and he's got like a little yoga area here and then through here is just an empty cupboard A toilet in here is our utility. Actually, I'm not going to show you in there because there is definitely dirty laundry everywhere And then this is our other spare room. Okay, so this is our extra spare room However, look like that is all cardboard behind there just from all the things when we moved in like when we got all the deliveries and moving boxes and things like that So now that the side tables have arrived I'm going to book a rubbish man to like come and just take everything out of here because I mean it goes right back to the door piled up high just full of cardboard like our old garden furniture we're getting rid of um but eventually this will be our like kind of gym area so obviously we've got like our laundry and our towels and things like that and Johnny's using all of this for his um clothes at the minute because his wardrobe's not built but there's a little ensuite in there a balcony like basement balcony door that opens which is really nice and yeah our plan eventually is to put like a running machine and weights and things like that in here so this will be like a little gym area which will be nice so yeah that is all that's downstairs you're gonna see more mess behind me um so oops got a little doggy here yeah so that is what's down there um i don't know when johnny's home i have a feeling he's gonna end up staying out quite late with his oops sorry pop it well till the 10 p.m curfew with his friend so I might just order myself some food, have a drink, and I'm going to relax now. So I will chat to you all tomorrow, probably. I'm obsessed with this candle. Look how pretty that is. It's so big. And eventually, like, these flowers look so nice here, but I can't wait to have our dining table, like, down here. So I'll have, like, my fresh flowers on there every week. And then it'll just... We're getting there, guys. We are getting there <laughs> hi guys so we are on tuesday and with this one we have just popped out for a little bit of lunch and a shoot this morning so we're at this really gorgeous restaurant in mayfair called scott's and i've never been here before and i don't know how i haven't been here i always thought that scott's was a complete different place but i just met lauren here and it's i've never been here so it's lovely if you're ever in london i highly recommend it we're sitting outside this little fire behind me um a really nice quiet street and i'll show you what we've got actually so the menu had so many nice things on it i went for a miso salmon you got sea bass sea bass and then some broccoli some chips and then i have a glass of red wine and you have a glass of white a little bit naughty but haven't seen you in a few weeks so <laughs> it's allowed guys it is three o'clock and it is so dark i literally have to put a light on 
otherwise you guys wouldn't see me properly <laughs> um anyway i've spent the afternoon tackling instagram reels i'm not the kind of person i think you're squint when things come out i did the same with um igtv i take so long to like actually make one I don't know what it is it just takes me so long so it's taken me like two months to actually be bothered to make one and it took me two attempts because the first one was appalling so i finally mastered reels hence this pile of clothes anyway i'm coming on because i bought some stuff from look fantastic last night did a very well not i don't know if it was big order it was an expensive order um but i just really needed some new makeup and i also saw um, a girl on Instagram post about a foundation last night and I was like mm, I want to try that so I went on and bought the foundation and then I just kind of got sucked into everything else I'm just thinking actually maybe tomorrow I can do a little get ready with you get ready with me <laughs> on this vlog and show you what I picked up so let's see is that everything yes okay so the first thing I got was my Oh, this light is literally blinding me. Let me turn it down a little bit. The first thing I got was a top up of my Benefit Gimme Brow. So I use this every single day on my brows. It's just a little kind of like tinted. It's not going to focus. I don't know why I keep trying to do that. <laughs> it's just a little tinted um, like brow gel kind of thing. It's a tiny little brush. It's really easy to use. Um, I've had my brows microbladed probably about year and a half ago now so they do need a top up but um all i have to put on my brows still is just this in the mornings so i got a top up of that this is actually my third one i think now they're really really good um and i get shade number two so then i was getting sucked in as i said <laughs> and you know those little things people use to clean their brushes i realized like i don't have one and i thought it would be really handy to get one this is from real techniques i actually got this one in particular purely because i like the color of it the rest of them are all like bright pink and just not very pretty and i don't know i just thought this was nice so it's just a little kind of like um rubber thing with like grids on it and you swirl your brushes around on it and it just takes the makeup out a lot more easy um, it also came with some brush cleansing gel. Okay, next, I really needed some more powder. You can probably tell by the look of my face. I've kind of run out of all my ones that I use and I thought I would try something new, but I actually have used this before, um, but not for a few years. And I remember really liking it. So it's the Too Faced Born This Way translucent powder. However, if I remember correctly, it's called translucent, but it is more of like a banana powder. I can maybe see this has like a more of a yellowy, tone to it rather than white i hate white um setting powders or translucent setting powders because i feel like they give me the worst flashback and also they make my face feel so so tight someone told me once that it is because there's cornstarch in it and people can skin doesn't react well to cornstarch so i don't know if that's true or not but um yeah this one is called translucent but it's definitely more like a banana powder okay and then i got this from stila it's called a lip and cheek stick i got it in the, sh the shade sheer peony i thought it looked really really cute obviously it's just um kind of like a blush slash like lip sort of cheek and lip thing <laughs> so it's in this cute little tube um it has this little kind of like twist up bit for it and oh god i put a lot on my hand there um i just really like it oh that's really nice okay can you see the color there that's so nice it came out actually really really pigmented and then i just kind of like rubbed it in with my finger and it's it's really nice i think that'll be really gorgeous as a blush i'm not too sure about lips but definitely as a blush and i picked up a setting spray what else did i get okay yeah so i got some bits from ysl so this is i'll show you the foundation first so i'm sure you all know who naomi janice is on instagram she posted about this foundation and her makeup always looks insane so when she posted it i picked it up i think we're the same shade roughly so i just got the shade that she has but it's the ysl ysl touche clart le tint le tint foundation so i'm assuming it's maybe like a foundation slash tinted moisturizer then i also saw a primer from ysl so this is the touche clart blur primer i thought it just looked really really beautiful Can you see there little gold flecks which i thought were really cute next was a makeup setting spray from ysl i realized i only have my iconic ones which i love but sometimes you just don't want like the glowy like they kind of have like flecks of really tiny weeny flecks of kind of like shimmer in them and sometimes you just don't want that on your face so i thought i'd pick up another one that didn't have that 
And then the absolute final thing was a top up of a concealer. Um, actually, Naomi also wears this. I saw it when she mentioned the foundation and it reminded me. So I already have this and I use it quite a lot, um, but I just need a top up. So it's just a little Laura Mercier uh, concealer. And I use this one particularly under my eyes because it is really nice and brightening. So that is everything that I picked up. Um, I will probably chat to you in the morning and do a little get ready with me. Tonight, I think I'm going out for dinner with a friend um, at about seven. So I'm just back from the white company. So I returned the ones I showed you guys, the bed throw that I showed you guys in the last vlog. And I was looking at one online. So I went in store to see how it looked. I should have taken a picture of the headboard and stuff though, so I could actually like, remember the colors. Um, what are you doing? There's a doggy down here. But I really, really liked it. And actually I think looking at it, it's gonna be nice. Fingers crossed. If it is nice, I'm taking the day off work because I'm just in an absolutely foul mood. <laughs> and I'm gonna go back to White Company and pick up the pillows and things that I need to like fully complete it and the pillow inserts. And then I think I might have a mooch around Zara. It's Friday, by the way. Good morning. Hi, I haven't spoken to you guys yet. So, let me show you what I got. It's so heavy. Oh, this is so nice. Okay, this is called, I'll link this down below for you. It's called, let me take it out. I think it's called like the, I don't know. Okay, so it's in this beautiful kind of like velvet kind of, it's kind of like a purpley, silvery, beigey color. And then in different lights, like, can you kind of see? It looks like different and then it's trimmed with this really thick like linen trim. I also got two of the pillows to see if it would look nice and I think I'm sure it will. I'm going to get Johnny up here and double check. Um, but I'm going to basically, let me turn you around. I'm going to have like a big square one behind here and then these pillows and then a little one in front. But I think this is a really nice match, finally. Do you like it? I don't know, put it out. Well, I don't want to unfold it if it's not right. are going crazy right guys come on no no out i'm not having you bite that out out everybody start this leela's literally hiding under there right guys come on okay so this is how it looks i'm really really happy i think it's a really really nice match um, with the headboard and with the lights and I think it's tying in the side tables as well. I have things arriving from Amazon today to dress these. I'm going to do like a stacking books and I don't know what else yet. So now I'm going to run back to the white company. I have these two pillowcases. I thought I had inserts but I don't. Why would you go to the white company now? Because I want a nice bed. You're crazy. So these are going to sit in front. That's alright. <laughs> yeah. These are going to sit in front of the pillows and then behind the pillows I'm going to have two of these big ones. A different colour. No, so they're going to come up 100%. to like here and it's going to look really, really nice. I'm really happy that's with too, this. That's too much gold. Well, you can flip them. I reckon they're a dark colour. So the back ones you can have... The dark have... colour that will go with this. No. Yeah, I right. No, I had free reign on this room. <laughs> the back ones you can also obviously flip around and then it'll match in with this bit so even if it felt like too much kind of velvet you can flip that which is a really nice match huh yeah we're still dealing with this by the way that was okay his broken wardrobes i've already complained about one company in this vlog and i'm going to complain about another one i'm going to complain you with today la rougette and i've actually used before and i have really really Shots found fine. them fine this we've been living with for basically two months because his wardrobes arrived broken and what you had to ask them for to send out a part yeah so rather than just say like we'll just send you out a whole new one or like even we'll like refund you whatever like rather than sorting it they've made us wait two and a bit months to import some fucking 
Whoa. To import some wooden panel like this from like France. Um, and if it was me, I'd be writing a strongly worded email, but Johnny's not like that. I'm not as rude as an idea. I'm not rude. Um, update on the perch and parrot situation, by the way. They are coming to collect the things on Monday after I had to write them a stern email. Um, and now I'm still waiting on some furniture for the office, but they have resolved it. So anyway, this is it. The perch super happy with this. I am now gonna run back to the shop. Really, really nice. I went and picked up the inserts for this one because I had only got smaller ones, and then I picked up the big ones and the big covers. Um, I like it like this, so both all of them facing the right way. I think the back one even looks a different color because the lights like hitting it, which is nice about this. Like in different lights, it kind of has different colors. Jay's put. I don't think that looks right, but if you twist it, swap it round, then you've got like this paneling. Um, like linen trim or on that pillow so there's options I think it looks really nice though I think it's a really good match happy <laughs> I don't think that you would I don't ever see a situation where you'd have the pillow the same as that it doesn't look right to me it's too much the same thing I would have this I don't know I think small cushions should be something to go in with this to blend with that darker color and I like this on the bigger one. So like that what like what your setup is? But that's just way too like there's too much glitzy stuff going on there. So you think what your setup No, I don't like this. I do. I think this should be dark like that. No, I don't agree. To bring something else into it other than this I don't, texturing colour. I don't agree. Anyway, I also I think that looks left looks way better than right. This. And this. Oh see I like this one. It's all the same. I need to fluff them. Yeah, I like it. We'll figure it I out. I prefer that to that. Okay, well, let's do that. That looks way better. Yeah, it looks nice. So we, have, we just like flip the back ones, which actually are just like a slightly lighter shade than the headboard, and then have the matching ones to throw on the front. I think they're really cute. Need to fluff the pillows up a little bit, but I'm really, really happy. And then my side table, I've ordered some bits. You've not got anything coming. You well, I ordered lots and lots, so you can try. You have control of it. You, you, <laughs> you're going to order me stuff as well. <laughs> I got this little candle, I swear, I'm such a sucker. You know when you're paying in shops and then there's like all the cute little bits around the tills? Like, that draws me in so much. I'm such a sucker for it. So I really wanted to get some Christmas bits. There were so many beautiful pieces. Um, but I think maybe it's a tiny bit premature. So I'll wait another few weeks for this. But I picked up this little candle. It's Seychelles, which is one of my favourite scents. But it's in this really cute little ceramic heart. So I think eventually when I have sorted out this side table I'm gonna like stack it on some books maybe. Um or it's really cute for my office. So. Your lightning box yeah. in there, right? My earring. Yeah. Good morning guys. Um it's actually Monday. This was meant to go up yesterday, however I'm not good with schedules, okay? Um anyway, I thought I would do my makeup with you because I haven't shown you yet all the new makeup. Well, I have shown you it, but I haven't actually shown you me using it. And rather than do a first impressions with you, I've been using it since I got it. So over the weekend, really. I love all of it. So I thought I would um be able to show you it and talk to you about how they actually are on the skin. And then I will finish it up. I'm in a relatively good mood considering it's Monday morning and um we just went into another lockdown um well no we've got announced we're going into a lockdown as of um thursday so yeah it's been a bit blur of a weekend but what can you do i guess it's it's the best way forward right i mean it's shitty but we have to do it so i'm gonna just do my mascara i'm using this new l'oreal air volume mascara i showed this over on my instagram the other day it's super super good i've been using it probably for about a month now 
I'm gonna do this off camera because it takes me so long and then I will come back and do the new bit. This new foundation, so it's the YSL Touche Eclat Le Taint in the shade B30. So initially I thought this was gonna be more like a tint for your skin, I think I said that to you guys because of the name Le Taint. I don't know what that means in English, but I kind of took it as like a tint. <laughs> um, however, I would say it's definitely a foundation. Um, it's medium to light coverage, but definitely buildable. I feel like this lasts all day as well. The only time I've had to top this up, obviously, is when I'm wearing my mask or when I've taken my mask off. But even then, I don't feel like my skin, my foundation looks like it's come off from the mask. It just, I kind of notice it slightly but it actually is very long long standing with the mask. So I'm using a uh, Zoeva 102 brush. So if you're in the UK, how are you all feeling about Boris's announcement about the new lockdown? Uh, it's a bit annoying, isn't it? I don't know, I'm kind of in two minds about it. I feel like, yes, it's annoying, but I mean, it needs to happen. And I know that it's probably, I mean, it could be extended. I feel like because it's four weeks, it kind of gives us a countdown, right? And I don't, I mean, I don't think they're gonna extend it if they do too much, because obviously we have Christmas coming, and I mean, I really don't see them locking us down for Christmas. Like, I, and no one's gonna obey the rules, and I just don't think they'd put them in place, so, yeah. So I can still see, like, my skin and my skin texture through it. This is obviously my bad side of my face. Um, but it is giving me coverage as well. Like it's evening out my skin tone. It's making me feel comfortable in a sense that I have foundation on, but it's not like a thick, heavy foundation. However, I do really think if you build this up, uh, if you apply more, it's really easy to build. So I'm now gonna go into concealer. Um, I actually had a Zoom event with the girls at NARS and I've always used these concealers. So I usually use the shade Custard and Ginger. Um, and they said to me, get the shade Honey, because for my skin tone, honey will like do the kind of concealing really, really well and like neutralize, I think that's what they said, like neutralize the kind of darkness under your eyes and then add a concealer on top for like brightening. So I gave it a shot. So this is shade light three in honey. And I'm just kind of putting this where I have darkness. And I, as of recently, have really noticed in here is where I get really dark, dark, dark. Like I feel like under my eyes are kind of easy to cover, I guess maybe because I have filler in there. Um, but I am noticing like in there is staying really like dark. So <laughs> I'm putting it there and I'm just taking a little bit under my eyes as well. And then I'm going to use this brush, which is from, um, my kit co and it's the flawless face small brush and just kind of blend that across my eyelid and around that area. So today, um, little Leela that you guys have seen in the vlog, she is going back home. So it was a nice little couple weeks with her. Feeney's gonna be a bit sad, I think. He loves her so much. But yeah, she is heading home today. Actually, we're gonna be sad too. She's just the most lovely little dog. However, we may have something very exciting to share with you at the end of the month. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I don't wanna say too much, but I'm sure you can all read between those lines. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll keep you posted. So next I'm going in with my Laura Mercier concealer. This is in, oh, I just realized I didn't put my primer on. How did I forget that? All I wear it every day and when I'm sitting filming myself, I always forget to put it on. Anyway, this is the Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer in 1.5 W from Laura Mercier. It's just a really nice brightening concealer. I'm gonna do this in the mirror because I don't want to put too much on so I just kind of put a bit there put a bit there and a little bit on my chin then I'm going to go in with the same brush just because I think it works fine um and just blend that in I don't know if you're able to see maybe you can it's just a nice highlight however actually recently because I always do my concealer like this especially the brightening ones is why I put it but there's been a few times where I've looked in the mirror and I've been like has my foundation rubbed off my chin or is that the concealer? Like, I don't know, maybe I need to stop putting it on my chin. So powder, we're doing Too Faced, uh, Born This Way, Ethereal Setting Powder. In the shade Translucent, this nifty little pot that has this lid so it doesn't go everywhere, which is really handy. So I'm just tapping some into the lid. But can you see, this is definitely more of a yellow tone 
than a white tone. For some reason, translucent powders, they just feel terrible on my face. Like I put on the bare minimum. They feel so tight. Like my skin feels like it's not been moisturized in about 700 years. Um, and also I feel like I just get flashback. And even if I don't get flashback, I just have the fear that I'm gonna get flashback because I have had that happen. So yeah, I just tend to stay away from them. So I'm just using banana powders. I did go through a little stage, I mean a long stage for the last few months of going back to like compact powders, but um, just because of easiness and they're just not as much of a hassle to like make a mess with. I do take them all the time in my handbags and things still, but I do think pressed powder, no, what's this called? What is this called? This kind of powder, loose powder, <laughs> is um, so much better and lasts way longer. So now I feel like that's my whole base done and I feel it gives me a really nice, flawless, not caked, um, just nice base. And now I'm obviously need to add some cheeks and things. But yeah, I really, really like those products together. I think they all work really nicely together. Brows I'm just brushing out. I really need to get them microbladed again. Um, the reason I haven't got them microbladed again is because, yeah, for the first like week or so, you have really, really dark eyebrows. It literally looks like, um, let me do it in here. It looks like you've done a terrible job of your eyebrows basically um like it looks like you've got scarf's brows and i just don't really know when i can fit in like five days of my eyebrows looking like that right now anyway because i have to like film and things for work and i don't want to be on like youtube filming with a big black slugs on my face Anyway, I'm just using this Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade number two. I've just also realized, I don't know what I have done here. Oh, I do. <sighs> Guys, I've messed my makeup up. Didn't put on my contour before my powder. I'm just gonna use whatever excess is on this brush because I don't want to put it over powder. Contour though, I was just using this Bare Minerals um, foundation in chestnut. So I'm just gonna kind of go over my, it kind of worked, didn't it? then blush i have used this Stila one so it's really really nice it's a lovely lovely shade the thing is it's one of those blushes that you have to put on and kind of like rub rather than a powder obviously and i just have this thing about these blushes not like the iconic ones you know the iconic ones that are like liquid and they're so easy to use but with this kind of thing where you're like or when you're like i feel like it can kind of move your underneath makeup so i am going to actually i've just thought about this i'm going to try it on a brush and see let's see if this will work i think it will yeah nice there's probably a lot of product left on this from my rodeo one okay Let me just blend that in a little bit yeah i think that looks really nice Okay, that's it. Then I don't know where any of my lip stuff is. There's some lipstick here. Let's do that. Normally I would line my lips, but to be honest, I just cannot be bothered to walk downstairs. <laughs> so this is a Charlotte Tilbury. This is the shade Pillow Talk. And then the last thing would be my setting spray, which is downstairs. And forgive me, but I just cannot be bothered to go and get it. Um, but it's really good. I, uh, I've not really noticed that it's, it's setting sprays are kind of the same, aren't they? Like I don't, when I think about my makeup looking good at the end of the day, I don't think, oh, it's the setting spray. I think, oh, it's the foundation, do you know? So it's really, really nice. It smells nice. It's a really lovely spritz on your face. Um, apart from that, I don't really have a huge opinion on it because I don't know if it's working that well. Also, I use things like this throughout the day, just a normal little like moisturizing face spray. In fact, I'll just put this on now. I do use these after makeup. Oh god, that was a hard spritz. So just to give you a nice look at it in natural light, this is how it looks. Really, really, really nice. I think it's still really lovely and natural and not heavy, but it's just a really nice like makeup base. So yeah, I really like it. I promise when I have my 
seating area here we will do makeup here and you can see this kind of light on it um anyway i will link all that down below because i do really really rate it and i'll leave my shades and things down there as well and i think i'm gonna leave you now because this has been a long vlog and now it's a new week so i'm gonna try and start another one so i will see you all in the next one and i hope you enjoyed it and 